Today we are going to take some door panels, front and rear, off of a 2016 uh, Chevy Cruze. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, one thing you got to really be careful with is when you start pulling on the panel. Uh, you have an access door right here. You have a little uh, um, plastic, like a little cover that just you just push it bends. It's actually rubber. You take that off. There's a, there's a torque screw there and there's also a torque screw here. Um, the one up here on the access door, there's a little notch on the top of the access door. Uh, you just take your screwdriver and then just pry it down and then there's, there's a little torque screw behind there. Um, and then up here uh, by the mirror, there's a little panel that we need to take off so we need to get behind that and pop it. There's like two clips on there. Uh, and then that's pretty much uh, it till we pull the door. We want to pull the door, we, want, we do want to use a door panel tool if you have one if you don't just be really careful because these clips on these Chevys are not very good they do break um, so uh, you want to you want to get a, an area down here and you want to pull all the way around um, once you kind of release it with your door panel tool and just kind of fill around try to get behind the clip with your door panel tool if you have one um, uh, if you don't have one you could still do it you, you might damage the clip uh, you might still be able to salvage the clip but it's still uh, it's it's best if you just try not to break anything obviously um, and then once we get the panel off, we're, we're going to actually lift it, pull it off towards us. And then there's actually a, a little uh, place here for the, um, for the handle that locks in. It's actually like a, um, I, don't, I don't remember what color these ones are. Um, they might be blue or yellow. And you have to actually lift it up and then, and then uh, pull back and then get the cable out of there. I'll try to pan you in if I can. Um, it's usually hard to do. Um, when we have it, uh, especially when I'm here by myself. So go ahead and try to do that now. Um, so I did already take the little cover off of here, so we're gonna go ahead and just take that screw out of there. It is a torque screw. So I got my drill there. Take that little torque screw out of there. And then here, I'm gonna bring you in real quick so I can show you the little access panel. Access door here, so right underneath there, there is a little spot. Popped off, and then there's a little torque screw there. I can get it on there. Get that little torque screw there. So then we'll go ahead and try to pull off this little panel here. Now you could either use a screwdriver, a real thin one, or use something plastic. You can get something plastic behind it. Kind of pull towards you a little bit. Get that behind there. There we go. So in this case, it has two clips, but one of them did come off. Uh, it came off and it's still here, so we're going to take that off. There's the second clip. So we'll just go ahead and put that right back on the panel. And then we'll just put it back on reverse order when we get to that point. That is going to be, we already got everything off. We've got the two screws off of here. we got the little panel off of here. Now we've got to find a spot under here where we can try to grab the panel and pull it towards us. Now I can't really fill a spot anywhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little plastic tool and I'm just going to try to get behind here. And the reason I'm using a plastic tool is because I don't want to scratch the paint. So if you want to try to see if you can get... Usually in one of these corners, I got this corner right down here. I got my little plastic tool there. So I'm gonna get my hand there and there. Once I got that, I'm gonna use my panel popper. Just kind of get it under there. At the same time as I'm pushing to create pressure, I'm pulling. There we go. So we released it. Okay. So now we gotta do the same thing, work away all the way around up to here. There's some more clips up here. So you wanna make sure to just get the panel pop it as close to them as you can so you don't break them. So I got the panel all loose now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to jiggle it up and then we want to fold it towards us and then we want to release that lever that's there. So this is the back of the door panel right here. And like I was telling you, this these ones are blue. I think the ones in the back are yellow. So what we want to do is we want to lift this top edge up right here. This top edge, we want to lift that up just like that. 
pull out, pull the cable out, and then take it off of the little slot that's there. Okay, and then the last step would just be to remove um, any of the harnesses that are in here. Um, this harness right here has a little red uh, um, security clip right there. So we do need to take a screwdriver, or you can get if you can get your fingernail under there. And you see how it released up? So this basically, this is the little security tab. We got to put it back in when we're done. And then all we're going to do is going to push down on the little tab and get it out. See that little tab right there? So that's that one. Um, and then we have one more over here. But this one doesn't have a security tab. It just has a... You just push in right here where my, my thumb is. Push in. You basically push in and then pull it out. Okay. Now, the one on the driver's side has an extra plug, so that also has a security um, little tab. So you're going to want to uh, make sure you take that off as well and then uh, do the same thing you did here. But it's pretty much almost identical, except I think it has one more plug on, on the driver's side. So now we're going to move you to the back door, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, so now we're going to try to remove the back door. Now, the concept is the same. Uh, it has no cover here. It has no cover here, but we don't have to take anything else off. So the back doors are actually fairly easy to remove. I mean by the little plastic horse. So this is, it's just a little piece of plastic. It just, it bends, just comes out. And there's a screw there. So we're going to take that off. Set that aside. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to go to the little access door. So that came off. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to choose a spot where we can try to get in here if we can. If we can't, then we want to get something to be able to um, get behind the panel. I, I could get a corner here. So I'm just going to grab it like that. Release it. And then I'm just going to work my panel tool around, trying to release the rest of the door panel. So we released the whole panel now. Okay, the back ones are a little bit harder to take off, so you kind of get a little bit more pressure uh, pulling up and down side to side. Especially like right here in this area. You just kind of keep pushing up and it comes out. Once it comes out, we're going to do the same thing. Same concept here. We're going to pull up on this. Pull the cable out of the little guide that's there. Pull it out of the socket. Okay. Release that. And then try to let it pan a little bit more so we can get in here. And then basically the push tabs on this side doesn't have any locking net mechanism on there so I'm just gonna push and pull it out that's pretty much it does it um, for taking the panel uh, off in the back um, now if there's any clips um, this one did one of the clips right here did break uh, half of it broke uh, I'll just go ahead and replace it with a new one um, but anyways uh, when you put it back on same concept just kind of guide them back on there and then just make sure they're lined up and then just snap them into place and then put you know make sure you Make sure you put your, your cable on before you do all that and plug in your harnesses. Uh, so, like I said, this is a, a 2016 Chevy Cruze, uh, taking out the front and rear door panels. Uh, uh, if you got any questions, uh, hit me up. Thanks for watching.